Today is HIV vaccine day and Africa once again at the cutting edge of research targeting HIV with an objective to eliminate it and the the Orem Institute in partnership with the International AIDS Vaccine Initiative have today announced the launch of a new HIV vaccine trial. Uh, it's uh, CEO Prof. Uh, Vinod Edward joins us now to explain the trial's trajectory. Prof, good evening and thank you very much for your time joining us tonight uh, here on In Focus. How important is this uh, breakthrough around an HIV vaccine? Yeah, uh, good evening, uh, Tabo, and good evening to all your followers and, uh, and viewers. Uh, thanks so much for having me today. Um, I think it's extremely important for us to be talking about this breakthrough today, especially on HIV Vaccines Awareness Day. Um, what I wanted to raise, though, is that the technologies around some of what we're talking about um, are not totally new. They have been around for a few years now, but what's important is that this is the first time we are testing this particular technology on the African continent using African researchers uh, as well as African-led uh, labs that will do some of the testing uh, post this clinical trial. Yeah. So that for me uh, makes it pivotal in, uh, in our aim to grow Africa uh, as a, a research powerhouse when it comes to vaccine production as well as vaccine testing. Yeah. Now, as you say, this is technology that has already be in, been in existence for, for a while. Why has it taken so long to start thinking around the, the, the HIV vaccine or for an HIV vaccine to be found? Yeah, so if I look at when um, uh, the lab produced some of these results and published some of these results, it was around uh, 2016. And, you know, the vaccine... Uh, timeline or the time from vaccine development to actual testing takes a number of years in its traditional forms. It didn't help that in between we had COVID and a lot of our resources were shifted from developing HIV vaccines to developing COVID vaccines. But what this has taught us is that uh, the pandemic, the pandemic in a way has taught us that we have the ability now to, you know, do things a little bit differently and think about HIV vaccines a little bit differently as well. So the momentum we've gained from using these technologies in COVID vaccines are now what are, we, what are gonna be used for developing these HIV vaccines. So in the case of the pivotal study that we're talking about, G003 sponsored uh, by IRV and uh, USA through PEPFAR, um, we are using an mRNA platform, uh, which became uh, very popular uh, in the last two years while developing a COVID vaccine. Yeah. The one thing, as, as you put it, that we have also learned around the COVID vaccine uh, era is that you've got to educate, educate, educate and re-educate and maybe even uh, over-educate. Now we're speaking of mRNA uh, technology. How does it work once again as it is applicable to the HIV vaccine? Yeah. So simply put, I mean, mRNA works as uh, a messenger that carries information or vital information uh, into a cell uh, in the body and helps the body uh, uh, produce, um, produce these antigens, almost like a, like, like a factory. And it helps prepare your body for when you are actually uh, hit by uh, an actual antigen or hit by an actual infection. So the body is actually quite good at, uh, you know, uh, producing antibodies against infection. But what happens is that we sometimes become quite ill in the time frame that it takes to actually, um, you know, develop a, a, a immune response to, uh, uh, to um, these invaders of the body. What these vaccines hope to do is quickly teach your body about how to protect yourself so that when you are hit with, the, with an invader, you can, your body can, can uh, quickly react uh, react to this infection. So simply put, these, um, these mRNA vaccines are teaching your body um, how to quickly fight off infection rather than have this lag phase between trying to protect yourself. Yeah. And, and is this going to be then a, a, a replacement for ARVs? Not necessarily. I mean, I think uh, preventive vaccines are, are one of the tools in an armament uh, uh, needed to, to tackle HIV as well as AIDS. 
we are talking uh, preventive vaccines uh, today, but uh, I mean, there are also therapeutic vaccines. These are vaccines that would be used for people who are already HIV positive. And ARVs will continue to be used for, uh, for people who are, who are HIV positive. So this is one in, in an armamentarium of, uh, of tools that we need to tackle HIV. Yeah. So tell, tell us then a little bit about how the trials will be conducted and how soon do we expect data from those trials? Yeah, so um, the G003 trial that we're talking about today um, will start in the next few weeks. It's starting in two centers, one at our Orem Timbisa Clinical Research Center and the other at a, at a center uh, in Rwanda. Together, we will be enrolling uh, participants into, into both of these trials. Uh, we hope to get results uh, out of this trial probably a, a year or so after the trial uh, actually starts. So we would be looking at around uh, possibly June uh, next year to, for the first results to be coming out. But um, just for, for clarification, this vaccine that we're testing it is to look at a particular um, induction of an immune response. This vaccine the technology on its own will not be enough to warrant the warrant an HIV vaccine. It's about providing information that we vital information that we need to continue the development uh, of this HIV vaccine. If this vaccine is able to show us the same immune responses like this trial showed in a US population, then we are one step closer to unlocking what we would need in a vaccine regimen. So this information is very important for the future of this set of vaccines. Prof, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for coming on. CEO uh, uh, of uh, the Orem Institute.